New tonight, drug test fail. All because people are taking legal CBD oil. You may not have a job. The warning tonight, a surprise could be hiding in that bottle. THC could show up in your drug test even if you're not smoking pot. The news station's Brian Scott live in the studio to sort all this out for us. Brian, what's this all about? The experts say know what you're buying, especially if you're looking for work. Because if you don't, that stuff everyone's using to help their bodies could cost you a job. You just put it in your food, under your tongue. The clear top seller at a lot of stores. Most definitely. A lot. Ethan Jobson's even expanding his CBD offerings and learning all he can about it to help customers get the most out of those popular supplements. The edibles will help with like uh, insomnia, cardiovascular pain, it'll help with joint pain, it'll help relieve stress. But he also tells them, read the label or you could get a rough surprise. They're coming back positive on their drug screens <laughs> for employment. So. Yeah, Christy Markantle seeing it more and more in her labs. People testing positive for THC, the stuff in pot, when they say they only use store-bought CBD. It takes some explaining. Well, CBD oil um, can come in two ways. One, CBD oil, but it also can be uh, hemp-based. That's the same family of plant as marijuana, and in that style, she says trace amounts of THC can exist. No higher than 0.3% with their THC levels. So it won't get you hot, but... It will red flag um, your drug screen. And she says that's enough to end your job prospects at a lot of places. It is unfortunate because there's so many positives from CBD oil. So if you have doubts, she suggests... You pretest. Prices range from $49 to $159. All of that is why Ethan only sells the not even a trace of THC stuff here and encourages customers to check it twice. I have laboratory papers as well just to show the customers, you know, to give them a little mind at ease. All right, the experts say most CBD products also come with a QR code somewhere on the container, so you can scan that to get the full breakdown of how much, if any, THC could be inside. Live in the studio, Brian.